Good morning, y'all. I am Dustin Jones. And I'm Yesenia Vasquez. We're signing in for G. E. And so what's your ID? It's right here. Where's yours? I had a complications with the security guard in the back. She didn't want to let royalty in. Uh, yeah. Here's Corey Ayala with more about the security guards. The TARI policy has been in effect since the beginning of the school year. This new policy requires students to be in class before the second bell rings. But if they are not, they will be swept by security and from there escorted to admin or ISS. The issue students have with this procedure is not so much the policy itself, but the taunting and comments that security has to offer. Senior Andrena Ruiz says she feels as if her mother is here nagging her. I just wish that they didn't take their job so seriously, like they're not cops or anything, they're just security guards. The student body sees these comments as annoying and unnecessary, but security looks at them as motivation and encouragement to force students to get to class on time. Why is it that the students can't just go to class? Then no one would ask them anything. If everybody does what they're supposed to do, then security wouldn't have to ask them or tell them. The target policy has been very effective according to administration and students are just now starting to cope with the procedure, just not the comments from security. The student body asked to give them a little bit more respect and not taunt them. I'm Corey Ayala reporting for GEN. Alright class, so it's only like five of you, right? I mean, nobody else is gonna walk, so you guys are the chosen ones, I guess. I could be sleeping instead of being here. <laughs> hey guys, you think you can put your phones away? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> think that's funny, like at that boy? I can't do this. You guys are the only five, well, four since s on side elite. Only four that came here. So, because of that, I got you guys. Clear your absence, you guys can go. Saturday school, April 23rd, 8 a.m. through 12 p.m. Good afternoon. Which one of you ladies will be the next prom queen? Will you be the prom queen? Of course, I have an Android. You guys should follow me on Snapchat. Snapchat, I see. Will you be the next prom queen? Of course, I'm Instagram famous. Let me check my notifications. How about you? No, my makeup's always on fleek. Well, now, now it's up to you guys to choose who will be the next prom queen of 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, now we bring to you your 2016 prom queen and prom king candidates. Uh, I think I should be elected prom king just because um, I don't know, I mean, it's my birthday on prom, so it'd be like a cool birthday present from all you guys. It's cheap, it's, it doesn't cost anything, you just gotta like, bend. Uh, yeah, it's my birthday, I'm a senior, I think I, I think I deserve it. I mean, I'm a cool guy. I have like a really upbeat, kind of happy attitude to a lot of, like I have a lot of people who know me and like, like to be around me because I'm just kind of fun. Be prom king, to me at least, it's just, it means that you're just a well-rounded person in general. You know what it means to be a student at this school, how to exemplify what DHS as a school means. It's just something special to have like towards the end of your senior year. It's just that one last thing that you can have to like say, yeah, I was prom king my senior year. You know, go out with a bang kind of thing. Uh, but what it means to me is uh, just to be able to show everyone that uh, a person that isn't as known as most people are can actually go as far as becoming prom king. 
What made me interested in running is another experience that you get to experience in high school rather than just saying, oh, I was going to do it. Instead, I'm saying I'm going to do it. Vote for me. I should be elected prom queen just because the like to have fun. You know, I want everybody to see that I'm not just a senior that wants to be prom queen, but I want to be a senior that people will remember and also get to know me more. I mean, I know a lot of people, but I want people to see me for the fun that I can have. I'm able to be myself, whereas I see other people or whatever afraid to be who they are. They're, they're afraid to take off their masks and stuff. For me, I'm just an open book. I mean, I, I guess people call me chill and cool, fun. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Cause you know, why not? Like, YOLO. <laughs> I believe I should be elected for prom queen because I don't only think about myself, I think about others. And it's not about being queen. It's not about, oh, I am the prettiest or I'm popular, nothing like that. It's about helping others. I would really like to wish everyone who's running good luck, whoever wins, um, congratulations, and if you don't win, it's not the end of the world. We swim, we dive, all the way to that finish line. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming all the way to that meet. Our swim team swam their way to victory on April 13th here at our home pool against the Desert Mirage Rams. DHS was in the lead during the entire meet. Finally, the boys ended with a score of 125 to 38 and the girls with 122 to 31. After their success, first-year swimmer Elijah Cross explains the feeling he gets when he first dives into the pool. I hope my goggles don't come off, and it's if it's not that, then just I hope I don't go too far down because it takes a lot of time to get back up, and then if your goggles come off, then it's just seconds, seconds, and then that's what pretty much kills your whole time. We are currently halfway into the swim meet and the boys are in the lead 72 to 14 as well as the girls with a score of 68 to 14. Senior swimmer Pamela Stankova placed first in all of her individual races that afternoon. I don't know how to explain it. When I jump into the water, it's because it's like completely different than, you know, any other sport. But in the water, you can't hear anything as well. Sometimes your goggles fog up and the only thing you can focus on is just trying to go as hard as you can because in the end of the day like you know you're like oh I should have done better I could have gone harder I could have put in more energy in that and so when I dive into the water into the water um, I kind of I don't think about anything but winning <laughs> be sure to congratulate the swim team on their victory last week and support them at their next meet on April 27th here at our home pool I'm Pilar Cordova reporting for GEN To see more short films, come out May 3rd to the Palm Springs Convention Center from 6.30 to 8.30. Rally boys versus girls get ready to battle. With these beats and these guns, we're gonna beat you guys at the rally. 
Um, no, they jiggle. And plus, I got the brains and the beauty. You know what? We'll settle this at the rally, okay? I'm Dustin Jones. And I'm Yusenia Vasquez. And we're signing out of G E N.